Good morning. Police say one in three cars stolen in the West Midlands this year were so-called keyless cars, taken by thieves using high-tech equipment. Sarah Falkland has the details. Kathy Kirby used to drive a Range Rover Evoque, but within minutes of parking at a hotel at the NEC, it had seemingly vanished. I went into my conference and realised I'd left my glasses behind, my reading glasses. So I went back to the car park some ten minutes later. A new motorway junction giving access to a major business hub in South Staffordshire opened this morning. The I-54 business park near Wolverhampton is home to a number of engineering companies, including the new Jaguar Land Rover Centre. It will now be accessible directly from Junction 2 of the M54. Wolverhampton City Council has set out its plans for regeneration and investment in the city centre. The proposals are aimed at redeveloping the railway station and metro stop and increasing retail, office and living space. There will be a public consultation early next year. Stoke City football fans have reacted angrily to the suggestion that they should stop singing the Tom Jones anthem Delilah. The former Plaid Cymru president, Daffy Ewan, says the lyrics trivialise the idea of murdering a woman. He's now urging Welsh rugby fans as well as Potters fans to stop singing it. The words include the phrase, I felt the knife in my hand and she laughed no more. A judge has given permission for an eight-year-old girl from Birmingham to be named in the hope that her mother will bring her back to the UK. Jessica Monkman is thought to have been living with her mother in Ohio in America since March. Her father, who's from Erdington, says he didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. Her case is currently going through the family courts in London. The judge says he hopes the publicity will result in her coming home. The most northerly part of the West Midlands is to get a helping hand to preserve what many consider to be a stunning landscape. The Heritage Lottery Fund has earmarked nearly £3 million for the moors and peaks of Staffordshire. The money will be used to make sure the area doesn't lose its character. Here's Bob Hockenhull with the second of his series on our rural heritage. The southwest peak, the roof of Staffordshire, striking in the winter sunshine. It goes down through the Manifold Valley through some absolutely fantastic scenery. I meet Ranger Stephen. Well, it's certainly rather wet and windy out there this morning. Will things get any better? Here's Mel Cole with the weather. Good morning. We're in for another cold day, and at times it will feel quite blustery. There will be some showers through the day as well, and some of them, particularly through any higher ground through the Staffordshire Moorlands, may have a bit of a wintry mix to them, but in between there will be some bright... And that's all for now. We'll be live for BBC Radio Shropshire's carol concert in Telford tonight. That's with Nick Owen later on in Midlands today at half past six here on BBC One. But bye for now.